welcome back. In this part of the tutorial we are going to meet, well maybe for the first time, but probably you might have heard about it long before I make this video. So we are going to learn about third-party controls. So I'm, I'm talking about controls that were created before you by somebody else. And you can make use of that functionality. As always, we start by updating the program's version from 3 to 4. Okay. Okay, now. Um, what we are going to do next? There are, I think, two ways to get third-party controls. First, you can get the DLL library file directly from some resource or you can install a NuGet package. So before you do this, you can just Google some good third-party controls or you can trust me a bit and follow me along. So I'm going to use Exceed. Oh, Exceed. Yeah, Exceed WPF Toolkit. So we'll get the latest table version. So it's a toolkit which contains multiple different controls that were created by them. So we install it. And okay, it's ready. Now, in order to use it, we go to our window, for example, here. So we won't use the local namespace, so instead we'll name it, for example, toolkit. This is the prefix that you are going to use with such controls. And here, just type exit, and we need this one, schemasexit.com WPF XAML toolkit. So this is the prefix that we are going to use with exit controls. Now, what we are going to do here is um, change this text box uh, with um, a numeric int up down. So in order to do it, we first of all need to type the prefix. So toolkit, then colon, and we need integer up down. Okay, we don't need text box here. So grid column two, um, gr I'm sorry, grid row um, zero. Now we don't need to set its text here and its name instead of db we'll name it numeric numeric minutes okay so this is our control it's quite similar to its windows forms part counterpart and now um, let's create a style in windows resources in order to reuse it so um Let's put it here. So style target type will be um, open the curly brace x colon type and here toolkit and integer up down. Yeah. Okay. So well, first of all, let's set the format string so set a property format string and the value will be two zeros so it, it means that whatever the value here it should have at least two numbers now and the default value will be zero and 
in order to display it well there is a special property for it and it's called display default value on empty text and set it to true here of course its font size is too small so let's change its font size and set the value to 45 okay now um well our designer is quite broken well just follow me along and we will rebuild it a bit later so minimum its minimum value is going to be zero and its maximum value is going to be 59 okay so default value display default value on empty text format string also we are going to give it oh yeah so we are going to give it an event setter i guess so event setter event preview um text input and its handler is going to be um input number validation oh we called it text box number validation well i'm going to rename it just in code just a second later so and we need another event setter and that is um preview key down so preview key down and the handler is called on preview key down okay so uh we call it text box number validation well let's just rename it from text box to input okay so it is automatically renamed so right now we can proceed and um oh greet toolkit well i don't know what the mistake is but it says font size well probably just i think it will be fixed with the rebuild so let's go to our code and instead of instead of tb minutes we'll have um numeric minutes and instead of text we are going to set value and we don't need to assign it a specific format in code anymore so again value m minutes so you see using third-party controls our coding part would have been a lot easier okay next and here and here okay and here we don't need to set any format anymore because we have set it in XAML so instead of setting the interface in code we are setting its um, digital values if you say so so okay and finally here i'll try to rebuild it
Okay, so we see it here and let's test it. So its first advantage is that we can increase or decrease its values like this. Secondly, we cannot input any keys, but actually that is due to our own on preview key down. And if we type some numbers, it automatically handles it. Okay. And if we, oh, and also it respects the maximum value that we set. So if we type 60, it drops to six. If we type um, 70, it drops to zero seven and so on. Okay. Well, oh, and let's just test it a bit more. So start. Okay. And zero. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Well, thanks for watching and see you later.